Welcome to Maxwell's Machine Shop at Miller Farm. I'm Doug Maxwell. What we're looking at today is a early American machine shop that's been in our family five generations. Uh, early, my earliest recollection is when it was at my grandfather's place up in Duluth, Georgia, back when I was a child in the early 60s. What we have is uh, basically a line shaft that operates all the equipment in here. We've got a motor overhead that runs a series of belts and pulleys that'll drive the lathe or the drill press back here and got an extra pulley, you can run something else if you want to. This machine here is probably vintage around 1905. We haven't been able to exactly nail the dates down perfectly. Same thing for the drill press over here. All of this somewhere around that era. Uh, my grandfather had it in his machine shop up until about 1964 or so when he passed on and then we moved it all down to my dad's place just down the road here below Woolsey. And it's been there until he passed a few years ago, and we decided that um, it was time to put it somewhere on display where people could enjoy it. Dad told us before he died, he said, you know, this is old stuff, nobody's probably going to want it, but, but don't, don't get rid of it, don't junk it. He said, put it somewhere. And we, we struggled around, where's a good place to put this? And suddenly it dawned on one of us, Miller's Farm, where else? So Rick and um, Tommy Hicks and some of the others and myself, Moved all this stuff down here from my dad's place and got it all up and working. So we're, we're proud to be able to display it here. Hey, I'm Mike Robinson. I'm son-in-law to Doug Maxwell that just uh, went through and kind of showed you where this stuff was from and tied it to our family history. One of the things that we really wanted to show here is this um, original breaker that turned uh, this motor on that ran this thing. Um, it's kind of interesting piece. It's obviously not functional anymore, but uh, we wanted to make sure it was here so you could kind of see how that worked because this was the breaker back in the day when they would turn this equipment on. Now we have it just tied to a handy dandy switch like this. And you can see there's a main motor up there that runs these pulleys. And then everything's engaged through a lever at the actual piece of equipment. So if you wanted to use this lathe, you would just simply move this over. And then you engage the pulley and now your lathe is turning. All right, so another piece of equipment here is this drill press. Again, running off the same shaft and belt assembly. And then you can engage it right here at the foot pedal. And that engages the bit. And then you use your handle here. You can bring it down. And then you have a lever and you can just keep grabbing the gear. And bring it down to where you need. And then drill into your work. Another thing I wanted to show you is some of the some of the family history here. This is my grandfather. He's the one that had it in from Duluth, Georgia. And I believe some of this equipment his father actually had first. This is my father who also had ran the sawmill down. Most people know him, Maxwell Sawmill down there. Over here, we have a, a photograph that was actually taken in my grandfather's shop. From some of the stuff in the background, we think it's probably around 1920. There's an old automobile over there. All this is blown up for just a small photograph, like a three by five. But you can see the lathe there is the same lathe that we have here. Almost about 100 years later. The guy in the picture, I don't know who that is. But, uh, some friend of the family, I guess. But um, here's another piece, too, the old cornice brake that, that my dad had. This is patented like 1898, so it's another piece of pretty old equipment. Mm -hmm. 